Coach Candy here from Aris Healing. Today we are looking at 20 Connected Breaths, which is a breathwork practice from Rebirth Breathwork, Rebirth and Breathwork. This is really good for energizing, increasing clarity, increasing focus, and also enhancing your meditative practice. So you could start introducing this breathwork practice into your meditations, perhaps at the start or the end of a meditation. I generally introduce it at the start of the meditation and find that it is a good uh, kind of intro to the meditation and for getting into that kind of that zone. Um, you can do this twice a day, it only takes a few minutes and it's really easy to learn. I will be doing this breath rate practice through the nose today. It is possible to do it through the mouth, you would just adapt. There might be some YouTube videos actually where people demonstrate it through the mouth, so it's worth checking on YouTube, but I will be using nasal breathing. Um, if you do decide to use the mouth instead, it will just be, it will be a similar instruction, but you will literally just be breathing through the mouth. So 20 connected breaths is four, four rounds of five uh, short, relatively short breaths. Um, it looks like this. Um, you take uh, four uh, short to normal breaths all in a row, I'll demonstrate in a moment, and then a fifth longer one, and that is one round or one set, and then you will repeat that three more times. And the fifth breath that you do will always be deeper and longer, and then you will go straight back into the new set or the new round of another five breaths and so you will do four rounds or four sets all together. So you just think you're going to be doing 20, don't worry if you lose count. And we're breathing in a circular fashion which means the breath is always connected. So the inhale will always be connected to the exhale. It will feel a little bit like the inhale is being interrupted by the exhale and a little bit like the exhale is being interrupted slightly by the inhale almost as if you haven't fully emptied your lungs before you're taking the next inhale. That's meant to happen, that's fine. Okay, so it looks a, bit, a little bit like this and then perhaps we can uh, all do it together. So the one round, uh, we'll just be breathing in through the nose. And then a deeper. And then you would do that another three times. So I may have done six breaths there. I need to count a bit better next time. Um, so it's the inhale through the nose, exhale. And then before you get to the bottom of the exhale, you're taking another inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then the final fifth breath will be a larger, deeper inhale and a slightly deeper exhale, but then you will go into the next round. It is possible to take breaks between each round of perhaps one or two seconds, and you do get slightly different uh, effects with that, but generally you are getting the similar kind of uh, clarity, focus, energizing effects with this. You will learn what your own pace and your own rhythm is, so just intuitively listen to your body, so don't try and keep up with me, don't try and keep up with the facilitator or the people around you, just just ignore how they're breathing, okay? And you will find your own pace and rhythm that works for your body, and then you will adapt that as you go along with a quickening it or slowing it down. So just really listen to your body, and I guess let's go into this. So breathing in a circular way, the breath is always connected, we call this conscious connected breathing, uh, and let's do 20 of these and, and see how we feel at the end. Remembering that every fifth breath is slightly longer and deeper, okay? So that breath will automatically take more time. Okay, and on this also it's worth remembering the inhale is more active and activated than the exhale. The exhale is always quite relaxed, quite passive, just letting it all go, just releasing it. So some people call this connected sighing. And let me see if I can do this so you can audibly hear this. <clears throat> so 
So hopefully you could hear that and hopefully you could hear how I was starting the new inhale before the exhale was quite finished and it was going consistently, continuously in that circular fashion. Okay. So just settle yourself. Try and not to overthink the breath too much cognitively because we're kind of moving away from cognition here and we're getting into the breath and the body. But it's all right just to mentally focus on what you're doing. Okay, I'm doing four rounds of five breaths and every the fifth breath or every fifth breath will be longer and deeper and I'm not taking breaks between these breaths. I'm sighing on the exhale. I'm letting it out but then my inhale's coming in before my exhale feels complete. Okay. So just getting ready to go into this. Okay, and begin. Last round. Okay, and pause and let your breath settle. Now your energy will be moving around your body right now. You might feel a bit twitchy. You might feel the energy working its way up from your pelvis towards your head. And your sit bones relaxing. Keep your jaw relaxed, your face relaxed. Imagine even your forehead is relaxing. Noticing any sensations, the movement of energy in your body, which can cause twitching, or you can even cause you to crick your neck like I just did. This is your body relaxing your energy centers aligning, waking up, coming online. All you need to do is let your energy and breathing settle and just notice and be curious. You may actually find that you're breathing less right now. Because your breath and your body are really working together right now. We've just oxygenated the blood quite a lot. So you may feel a lot calmer now. More centered and grounded. You can stay with this for as long as you like. I'm gonna open my eyes. You can stay with that as long as you like. You can keep your eyes closed. You might stay like that five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. You could go straight into a meditation from that. You could use that to kick off your meditation because it's very grounding and centering. 
or you might just want to do that twice a day just to give yourself that space of self-care and that space of coming back to yourself and reconnecting with your breath and your body and your nervous system and that was 20 connected breaths which has come from rebirth in breath work which is a kind of um conscious connected breathing which is used for a lot of um different reasons whether that's personal growth personal transformation spiritual growth uh, working with trauma working with depression working with mental health also physical health and autoimmune disease or chronic pain rebirthing is really great it just it's it's all about working with that holistic mind body spirit approach to really bring a person back into connection with themselves and back home to their sense of authenticity and their sense of wholeness so i hope you enjoyed that breathwork practice if any part didn't make sense just leave some little comments underneath and i'll do my best to make it a bit clearer <laughs> um otherwise thank you for tuning in and i'll see you next time